are they prepared to sit this thing out, even if it means up there in the trees? We're joined now by Harriet Ray, who you just met in Andy's story. Good morning. Good morning. So we're talking to you from the treetop. Yep. How long have you been up there now? Uh, 24 hours. Okay, so Harriet, why now? A and why this? Why so extreme? Um, well, now because they've already begun to clear trees and it's not too late to prevent the pavement from hap the paving from happening. Um, this extreme because it's been 20 years of, um, there have been 20 years of activism against I-69 and yet it's still being, it's still set to be built. So we had to. <laughs> but in the same 20 years, you know, you're right, it has been such a debated issue uh, in the Hoosier State for two decades. But on the other hand, there must be a lot of people wanting it too. There have been public hearings. So what would you say to people who say that you guys are really the ones trying to subvert the democratic process and the will of the people? Well, I would um, disagree entirely. Um, According to all of the most recent polls, there's still the majority of the Indiana population is very, very much against this highway. Um, so uh, if we're really talking about living in a democracy, then I would say that the people who are for this highway, the government officials who are for this highway, should start doing their job and represent the people they were elected to represent and stand up with us against this highway. So what do you plan to do uh, there to you know, keep making an impact? Because you know how the news cycle goes. You know, you're, we're covering it today, but in two days, how do you make sure people don't forget you're up there in that tree for that cause? Um, we have tons of communal support, community support, and um, our affinity group will take care of us. Uh, it doesn't matter if there's constant helicopters or not surrounding us. What's important is that we are a presence here and we are making our voices heard to the corporations who are trying to keep this, trying to keep us from following the democratic process. Do you think there's a likelihood that the police are going to break it up soon? I mean, can they do that? When do you think they're going to? Um, I mean, they can try. Um, I don't know when they would be going to. That's always a constant. Um, You're like, they have to come get me. <laughs> what? They have to come get you, though, to do it, I guess. Yeah, which they can be have difficult. To come get me. <laughs> so, what's the goal? You know, do you, I mean, do you really see this ending, you know, with all Hoosier lawmakers saying, okay, you guys are right? I mean, do you really see this ending in your favor? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Who I'm knows? honestly not. The goal, though, is that um, it's for everyone to see that there is opposition, mm -hmm. to be a visual um, presence, and um, to, I think, also remind people who have been disempowered by the looming threat of this highway for so long that um, their voices still can be heard and that if nothing else, they're the people that I represent um, with Grant, mm -hmm. the people we are representing right now are here to listen to those voices and La help as much as Last question, Harriet. Are you going to be at there till the summer? I mean, if they don't start to the summer, are you going to stick it out? Yeah, we've got means for um, maintaining a uh, sit here for as long as we can. Wow. All right. Well, thanks so much for talking to us, getting, giving us a little more information, and we'll see how it plans, uh, plays out. Uh, stay safe up there uh, and stay dry, I suppose, too. Allie, uh, what kind of weather will uh, the Gibson County Tree Protesters have? Because talk